Welcome, and in this lesson we're going to be talking about hyperlinks. These are the things you'll see throughout the internet that usually say click here, and when you click on them it'll take you to a different page. Now early on it was only text that we would use for hyperlinks, but now you can click on pictures, videos, buttons, all sorts of things that'll send you to a different section of the web. Now these could be used to help you navigate around one page, such as having a home button, or about us, or a contact page or they could be used to take you to completely different websites. For example, you're searching Google for something and you get a list of pages. Every page you see with that blue text, every one of those are hyperlink. Now there are two sections of a hyperlink. There's the part you see, uh, which could be the click here or the picture. And then there's the link, which sits in the background, and that's where it's gonna send you if you click on it. Now we can author a hyperlink to say whatever we want to on that display section. Whatever the author feels is going to help you navigate most easily is what they're usually going to put there. But they can be used maliciously. Take a look at this email I received from UPS Quantum View. In order to see where that background link is going to go on either a Mac or PC, we can simply hover over the link with our mouse and pause for a moment. Within a second or so, you're going to see a little pop-up with some text in it. This is the actual link. This is where it's going to send us if we click on it, regardless of what it looks like initially. On the display side, looks like it's going to send me to ups.com, as you can see here. But if we hover over it for just a moment, what is this? This is not even close to UPS. You can also do this with your smartphone or tablet. If there's a link you're unsure of, simply press and hold the link on your screen and after a couple of seconds you'll get one of two options. It's either going to bring up a text window and show you the link that it's going to send to or there will be a menu option that says show link. If you're wondering whether a link is valid or not it is certainly worth your time to check. When in doubt don't click it. You now know three things about hyperlinks. One, they are extremely beneficial and they can make navigating large documents or the web much easier. There are two primary sections there's a display that you see, and then there's the link that it's going to send you to if you click on it, and that they can be used maliciously, and how to check to see if the display and the link actually match. I hope this has been helpful. Go enjoy your technology.